If you look at the stock market charts for 2013, on the one hand, you've got stodgy developed countries like Japan, the US, the UK, and Germany, all offering so far this year impressive gains. On the other hand, many of the darlings of investors in recent years, emerging economies like Mexico, India, China, and Brazil, aren't doing so hot. What's behind the reversal of fortunes? Rates of growth. For the first time since 2007, Japan, the US, and other developed markets contributed more to global growth than China, India, and Brazil. This year, there's expected to be $2.4 trillion in additional economic activity worldwide, according to one hedge fund, which estimates developed markets are contributing 60% of that growth. To be sure, emerging economies are still on top in terms of growth, but in recent months, their lead has been narrowing. What about China? China is expected to clock 7.5% growth for the second quarter of this year, far surpassing the U.S.'s projected 2%, but China's headed toward its slowest annual growth since 1990. Look what happened this year to China's exports, growth since last year approaching zero. India now finds itself in negative territory, but then over in Japan, it's a stunningly different story. After many flat years, its exports are finally growing. Japan? After over a decade of stagnation, the world's third largest economy is experiencing a resurgence. It grew around 3.6% last quarter after a rapid policy shift has weakened the yen. What about Brazil? With Chinese demand slowing, so is Latin America's. That continent's largest economy grew around 1% last year. On a closely watched index of manufacturing output, the last few months Brazil's been declining. Whereas up in the U.S., manufacturing has lately been on the upswing. Traveling now across the pond, manufacturing in the U.K. is pointing upward. Same with Germany, modestly. While back in Asia, manufacturing has been down this year so far for both China and India. So is this the end of an era? Well, not so fast. This is an early trend, one that could easily reverse should emerging markets bounce back even a little. And at this point, these economies with their young populations, vast resources, and booming manufacturing are unlikely to fade. That's the short answer.